भास्कर वर्मा एंड हर्षवर्धन के शासन का बिफोर वाई हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज क्रिस्टिना बसुमतारी एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय चैनल आफ्टर लॉन्ग डेज यस व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल यू इज दैट टुडे इज अ गुड न्यूज बट व्हाई द थिंग इज दैट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश द एंशियंट हिस्ट्री दैट वी टॉक अबाउट महाबुद्धि वर्मन भास्कर वर्मन and many more kings maybe the mythological kings also but the thing here is that we will be talking about the bhaskara varma and harsha vadana's alliance to the fifth shasanka okay let's move but the reason is that why shasanka was killed or defeated i am really sorry not the care but defeated by harsha vadana and the bhaskara varma now let's move to the historical thing the thing here is that bhaskara varman's father who was called the sustita varman was killed by shashanka that is the governor of the gauda or the north bengal he became the governor later on with the help of mahasena gupta here comes again about the talk of mahasena gupta mahasena gupta he was a maghadan ruler who wanted to have a control over the uh, varmana kings okay especially the sustita varman so that he can have the hold over the kamrupa kingdom so here mahasena gupta got the help from the shashanka who was already having a power or a strong hold on the gauda so we can say that khana vasura was the capital of the gauda which was being ruled or which was under the control of whom shashanka now shashanka motive his motive was to have a power okay to have the power over both where kamrupa and also let's say in the maghada kingdom also so here after the defeat of the Sup sorry sustita varman he got a title of the mahasamanta that is the governor so with that what we can see is that after the death of mahasena gupta his minor son madhava gupta was weak so taking the situation as an advantage he gave his name as an independent status of king and then he began to strike the coins of himself the later on he has a motive for i on the place called the kamrupa under the control of the bhaskara varman and before that he already had a kind of the control of the territorial lands that were being uh, donated by um, mahabuti varman to the like some of the brahmanas so therefore here comes the motive where the shashanka wanted to have a control the entire control on the kamrupa so looking at the scenario the bhaskara varman will never keep quiet with that but he was looking for a situation where he can defeat the shashanka okay without any loss because he noticed that the shashanka was a powerful ruler or the governor and here we can see the motive of bhaskara varman to defeat the shashanka is that because shashanka killed his father sustita varman then again we can find here that harsha vadana he joined the hands with bhaskara varman so that he can take the revenge of his brother's death because his brother was killed by the shashanka okay remembering his name his brother's name was the rajya vadana so see looking at the scenario both excuse me both the bhaskara varman and harsha vadana wanted to join hands and defeat who defeat shashanka so here comes the situation where the ambassador we can say the ambassador of the bhaskara varman who hamsa bega visited harsha vadana at his court so that he can have a friendly alliance with the bhaskara friendly alliance with the bhaskara varman and to defeat shashanka so the motive was clear that is clear one side harsha vadana want to take revenge of his brother death and bhaskar varman revenge for his father's death so here now we can see from the west side harsha vadana captured with his general or defeated 
or chased the Shashanka and east side, okay, that is east of the Kamrupa, Bhaskara Burman chased the who Shashanka. So with this, this Shashanka was defeated and he ran away and took shelter in the Orissa place. Now, what we can find from here is that now uh, we found the motive or the alliance of the Harsha Vadana and the Bhaskara Burman and the defeat of Shashanka. So with this we conclude the entire long series related to the ancient history but no it's not over we will go to the different dynasty of ancient uh, history that is like uh, that is of the assam history we'll go to Selastamba dynasty then kamata kingdom then many 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 coach kings and we'll talk about but here the good news is that we are going to end the lecture that is relating to the Varmana line of king and I hope you will have understood the lecture series that I have given you and with the days and gradually I'm trying to improve myself and yes you all are giving a good motivation to me without uh, giving any subscribers or uh, we can say the likes or dislikes I was I was just joking so please please subscribe to my channel and uh, do like and if you do not like and dislike too also so okay then we have finished our lecture series of relating to the Vermana line of king and next we will talk about the Salastamba dynasty and I will try my best to complete within this December month the entire history